Hello, everybody. Good morning. The story of Joseph is a story of immense courage and perseverance. Being knocked down, he wasn't knocked out. He, he get, got back onto his feet. He was bent, but he wasn't broken. Uh, he always managed to take his life to the next level. Uh, his was a classic uh, instance of snakes and ladders. Uh, and we like to think that, you know, in the end, it all came together for, for Joseph, that he finally climbed that ladder and his life just went on and on and on. Uh, that, that may have been true at, at one sense, but the further you go into the story of Joseph, the more you become aware that he's never quite come to terms with the fact that his brothers had betrayed him. You know, family members can do pretty terrible things uh, to, to other family members. And it can leave a huge residue of, of bitterness and anger and, a, and, a, and an absolute refusal ever to have anything to do. And when that particular member of your family you think about, it only kindles negativity, which is not good for, for, for the soul. Um, and whilst one has to be careful in saying this, I get a sense that there was a little bit of that in Joseph. As his brothers had sold him into slavery. And now there comes that, that memorable day when, when they reappear into his, his life. Very much like when, when Esau reappeared into Jacob's life. Jacob having cheated his brother of his birthright. What do you do. Um, in fact, such was, I think, Joseph's resentment towards his brothers that he called his son Manasseh, which means the Lord has helped me to forget all my troubles. In other words, forget, forget. Uh, and the fact, that, the fact that he called his son that, Manasseh, forget, suggests that that things weren't totally settled in Joseph's soul. So yes, he's a man to be admired, courage and all that. Uh, but he's a man who I think we identify with closely because however strong our faith may be, there may be little areas of our lives that are, are dark, that are filled with resentment, even anger. Uh, and there comes that day, as I said, when they reappear, the brothers do. And initially, Joseph is tough with them. Tough, tough. And, and you might say, yeah, it serves them right. You do that sort of thing, you, 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 you suffer the consequences. You reap what you sow, and those brothers reaped or sowed hatred. Now they reap the stress and trouble 16, 17 years on. Um, but notice how Joseph works through it. He's, he's leading them on. He's being difficult, seriously difficult. Read those chapters. And at one point, he's, he even threatens his father's peace of mind and the insistence that young Benjamin must be brought back to Egypt. If Simon, Simeon, is going to be released, he had been taken hostage. And you think, gosh, poor Joseph's dad, Jacob. Um, but something is happening. And I, I enjoy the fact that, that for all that, that Joseph is struggling here, um, the Lord is leading him to a place where he can no longer contain himself. And, and he doesn't burst out in anger. What does he do? He, he cries. He cries and, and, and he says, guys, don't you realize I am Joseph? Now, nobody cried as much in, in the Old Testament as, as, as Joseph did. Um, Esau cried when he lost his birthright to Jacob. Jacob cried when he saw, he saw Rachel. 
Jacob and Esau both cried when they were reconciled, but nobody cried like Joseph. And it's an incredible moment. All that resentment, that anger that had built up over the earth, suddenly the whole damn wall gives way and tears flow from Joseph's eyes. It says something about the spirit of this man. To hate and to resent was not his natural way of doing things. And as much as he had been perhaps held up in some aspects within himself, there came a point where he just could not let it live in himself anymore. And that sorrow and the sadness comes tumbling out. Uh, Is there a lesson in that for us? Friends, don't hold resentment in your heart. Don't. Don't hold it in your heart. It only eats you up. It only eats me up. Don't hold that resentment in your heart. Let go of it. And if you need to go and cry somewhere like Joseph cried and let it all tumble out, go and speak to somebody. Do so. Because it is not making for your health or my health for us to keep it inside, keep it inside, eating away like a cancer in the soul. I tell you, I take my cap off to to Joseph. He's a man for our day. A man who refused to live a mediocre life. A man who lived excellently. A man who lived with courage and with faith. A man who had issues. But eventually he was able to let go of them and to be reconciled to his brothers. Think about that today. God be with you.